Let you know something even more is Ivy, when I first joined Oasis Toastmasters, she was the president at that time. And I have a question for you, Ivy. Do you know I will be an international director at that point time when I first joined? <laughs> of course, no, right? <laughs> but thank you. Thanks for coming, Ivy. And the other person I have to say is KF. I learned a lot from KF. Almost, we call it the father of Toastmasters in Hong Kong, right? Oh, yes, okay. KF Tammy. Oh, um, give, please give him a call. Sherry, also thanks. Also thanks for your sending so many invitations to your friends, your relatives, someone that you know or someone you don't know, you also stand out, right? <laughs> <laughs> wonderful job, wonderful job. Therefore, tonight, almost full house, right? Wonderful. I, I'm so glad to see so many people here. Now, my workshop is around 15 minutes. I'll let you have five minutes to ask questions. We'll be okay, right? Um, it won't be a really long one. I try to be as easy as possible because when I ask international director, I'm sure no one know what is it about. Let me get, give you some guidance. President, any president here? President, yeah, a few. Or past president? Yes, yeah, quite a lot, right? Yes, yes, thank you. Now, starting from club level, the club president, area, and then uh, three or uh, four or five clubs form an area, right? Any past area director? Past. Past, yes, a few. Yes, they are the ones who uh, manage the area. Now, after the area level, we have division directors, right? We have the division level. There is an director, Kern, there is an director, Kern, and quite a few division directors as well. Now, area, then division, then district. How many clubs in the district? Our district director. Uh, around 110. 110. So, uh, a district director will take care of around 110 clubs. Some bigger district may take care of 200 clubs. Even some bigger one, maybe 300 clubs. A small district like Korea, 50 or 60 clubs, but still have 500 or five, uh, 1,000 members. As an international director, we will take care of region. Uh, region, we have like five or six countries. Five or six countries. In our region 14, we have uh, Taiwan. Taiwan, we couldn't call it a country, right? A place. <laughs> <laughs> it's very political. But we have, we have South Korea. We have Japan, mm. we have whole China, and we have Philippines. Mm. By the time where I serve as an international director, the mic doesn't work for me, it's okay. By the time where I serve as an international director, I uh, serve India. There are four districts in India. Uh, we have Singapore, we have Malaysia, and we have some part of uh, Korea and uh, Japan as well. Therefore, in my two years term, I have visited six countries. Wow. Yes. Wow. India, three times. Wow. <laughs> very dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous. <laughs> yes, you're right, you're, you're right, you're right. But I have to go, I have to go. Um, but it's interesting. Now, you may wonder what it takes, what it takes to be an international director. Let's see whether are you qualified. Mm. Those who are members, Right? Yes. Those who like to speak to countries in different, I mean, to people in different countries, right? Those who can manage their time really well. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. There are three important tasks. Mm. Now, means, what, what means manage the time really well? You can sleep way late, like 2 to 3 a.m., <laughs> or wake up really early, like 4 to 5 a.m. Oh. <laughs> Now imagine it's quite often because we have a lot of conference call. Mm. Like conference call, not only in Asia, but in the world. Six, say for example, five p.m. U.S. time, Mountain time. You may not know what's mean by Mountain time, right? You know the East Coast, you know the West Coast, right? But we talk about Mountain time because well, headquarters is Mountain time in Denver, mountain time. 
14 hours from uh, Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. So they have 4 p.m. call, which means around 5 a.m. in Hong Kong. So a lot of times we will wake up at 5 a.m. Oh, 4.45, my alarm clock will ring. Then I try to wake up and then brush my teeth, put a coffee and lie on the bed. <laughs> and then I attend the call. <laughs> you know, it's real. It's real because almost every week we have the conference call. Therefore, I ask you to manage the time really well. Don't think we are really, really bad. We have president, international president from Sri Lanka or from India. They are two and a half hours behind us. Means 5 a.m. My time is 5 a.m. But their time is 2.30. <laughs> Even more <laughs> difficult. So if they also say yes, we also say yes. Mm. But time management. Can you do it? <laughs> no, 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 ask the guy. You know, they pay me their game until 2 3 a.m., right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can do it. You can do it. Now, another task you may try to do is imagine today the secretary sent you a file around 100 pages material. And tomorrow afternoon is the meeting time. Then you have to find your time to read 100 pages of material and then attend the meeting and to give comment or give feedbacks or give your opinion about the materials. And it's a, it's a requirement and you have to do it. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for the world, not only for yourself. And you may ask, my, my office work is not that demanding. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's a kind of training. Mm. If you can manage this kind of reading, of course it's English, right? Not in Chinese. If you can manage this kind of reading, or able to absorb or able to analyze material within a short period of time, I'm sure it will improve your work performance. Mm. Your boss will say, how come you can, you can produce highly effective out output? Now, it's a good training. Mm -hmm. I can always tell myself, serving two years as an international director is like climbing a mountain. <laughs> yes. Before I join, I think it's a hiking. <laughs> but after I join, I find it's, it's rock climbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's rock climbing. It's, 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 it's required a lot of task, but it's also really dangerous. And it's good though, we are not working alone. We have a team, T-E-A-M. Together, everyone achieves more. Because we have a board together. We have a board of members. All together, 14 board members, 14, uh, one from different countries, and also uh, five international offices. So all together, 19 person, plus our CEO, then the rest, 20 people within a group. And we have a lot of committee work. So we work as a team. So we always uh, talk and check together, uh, uh, finding our opinion about, about something that we have to decide. So it's not easy, but it's enjoyable. No, it's enjoyable. No. I, I would like to share with you some of the uh, interesting things that, that similar you, you can you can imagine. Now, we have, I, I, I told you that I have visited a lot of countries, right? <laughs> around, in one year, I have to take around 30 day annual leave. 30 <laughs> days, in order to finish all the travel. Normally, their function will start at Tuesday until Sunday. Now, they start at Tuesday morning. No, not Tuesday, first day. First day, I think it's it. First day morning until Sunday. So normally, people will travel from Wednesday and come back on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. But imagine that if you fly on Wednesday and return on Monday, how many days of leave you have to take? Wednesday, 
to Thursday, Friday, Monday, four days, right? Four days. And imagine you have to travel to five countries, altogether you have to take 20 days and leave. And together with the international convention, two weeks, and also the board meeting, another one week. So there will be a lot of leaves, right? So I, my, my traveling time will be like this. I don't travel on Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday morning. I travel on Wednesday evening. And you know, you know it, within Asia, you can take the midnight flight, right? So I take the midnight flight. Normally, it, if you take off light at 8 p.m., arrive at 2 or 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then I take the taxi to the hotel, take a nap, then I start, uh, start to work 9 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. But imagine, taking the midnight flight, mm -hmm. can you sleep on the flight? Can you sleep yes. on the plane? Yes, yes. Lucky you. I, I cannot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lie on the chair, but I still cannot sleep a long time. I still cannot sleep. But that's not bad. I mean, midnight flight on the Wednesday evening is not bad. But coming, coming back on Sunday, midnight flight, and then more Monday morning return to work, that is more difficult. <laughs> you know? That's more difficult. I have a few times that I don't have enough sleep. Then on the Monday afternoon, I went to the park and sleep in the van 